Welcome everybody to the Falcon One Shot. On the agenda, we have Seraph here today, which is brought to us by Dreadbit. Now, Dreadbit's the team responsible for Ironcast, which is a game I covered last year on the channel, I want to say. Really interesting title. It was like a steampunk, mechanized, turn-based, puzzle combat type of system. Really, really fun in its own right. Seraph, on the other hand, is a really huge departure from that formula. This is going to be a side-scrolling platform shooter with a really interesting mechanic when it comes to auto-aiming. Now, this might make the game for a few of you guys, or it might also break it as well. Essentially, everything in the game is done automatically in terms of the aiming and the shooting. Um, you will dictate when you want to shoot, right? But the aiming will be done automatically for you. More, normally, it's going to aim at the closest enemy towards your character and whatnot. Um, this is really cool for me. I enjoyed it myself personally because it does give you more of a stylistic type of view for the game. It keeps the action flowing non-stop and it just looks really, really pleasing to the eye. Like even though all you're really doing is jumping around, avoiding enemies and just holding on the shooting button, on screen that turns into something really, really amazing to watch. At least like, there's always something happening. It really reminds me a lot of like something a Bayonetta maybe meets Strider in a sense. Really, really pleasing in that regard. When it comes to the difficulty, however, um, depending on the difficulty you play at, enemies will have more abilities unlocked. So if you feel like you're playing on standard and these enemies aren't really posing much of a challenge, go to hard mode and it will actually unlock more abilities for them. Go to extreme and it'll even be more. And you'll also get like a lot more rewards when it comes to crystals, which you'll be using to upgrade, um, acquiring blessings, a bunch of other stuff that we might discuss here after a little while. What? What has happened here? My guards are dead. I can no longer feel their presence. I am so... weakened. Steal yourself, my sibling. It is time to escape this place. Who are you? You are not like the others. You are not human. My name is Guide, and I have come to give you aid. You are like me, yet you only come to assist me now? I have been a prisoner for over three decades and only now do you offer assistance? We may discuss this later, but at this moment you must make efforts to arm yourself. Demons are coming for you, prisoner, and they are not your allies. Demons? On the mortal plane? Impossible! It has been forbidden! Impossible or not, it has happened. The Termini forces have materialized here and they are coming for you. You require weapons. Your diseased guards no longer have need for them. Alrighty, and we're good to go over here. Um, spoilers, by the way, but that was in the game doing voice segment that was on me. I know it was really, really good. Probably the best female impersonation you've ever heard. I know. What can I say? I'm just really talented that way. <laughs> uh, no, but really. Um, the game's really basics here so far. You jump with A. You could also do a double jump as well. You shoot with your trigger buttons. You could switch weapons with your shoulder buttons. And let's see. This right here is going to be an ability used for certain finishing moves on difficult enemies, which will be seeing here pretty soon. For now, all we have to do is kind of run around, do some jumping. You could also do the old wall sliding around really slowly. You could jump off of there. You could do a fast little, I guess like a little dashing attack. This lets you not only cover ground in midair, but it also lets you avoid um, enemy attacks as well. Really, really useful skill. You'll be using that a lot. Alrighty, so let's see. Continue down here for now. The game's really stylistic. I like the entire atmosphere about it, this whole weird dystopian thing that I mentioned. Uh, music's actually really cool as well. And right now we have our first little bit of combat here. These weird, interesting looking demons. Let's see if we can just kind of um, dash around over here. Let me show you the dash through features I mentioned. And as you can see, the auto aiming is kind of doing most of the job for me. All I'm really doing is just holding down the attack button. Now, you don't necessarily want to just do that because you're going to be finding a lot of weapons in this game which you'll be able to swap by on the fly. And those will indeed have ammunition. Your pistols are always going to be unlimited, however. But your other weapons will indeed have ammunition, so you got to be really useful or careful how indeed you're going to be using your actual um, ammunition here going forward. Making sure there's nothing up there. We could also dash upwards as well if you want to get to like a higher ground. So you could really dash like in any direction you want, which is actually pretty cool. Let's go ahead and pick up these crystals. Those will be used to like level up over time. You'll unlock different abilities. Pretty sure the game will give me a lot of tips here. You can read those tips if you want to. I'm going to just kind of run through because I can't stop. 
this game and to read while I'm, you know, talking at the same time. Way too many things happening, you know? Demons have butchered the crew here. I do not understand. I was always told that the Termini could not exist on the plane of reality without the assistance of our kind. Did you do this guide? To rescue me? No, I did not. You did this yourself. Impossible! Never! I would not! I could not! Don't you feel drained, sibling? As if you are only a fraction of your former self? It took a considerable portion of your essence to manifest the Termini here. Such a phenomenal summoning is not without considerable cost. I have no reason to lie. You are the reason I am here. Yeah. Alright, I guess over time we'll find out more about that. I really don't know much about the story other than just kind of like the early stages so far. Which is mostly just getting involved with combat and learning the basics and all this other stuff over here. Let's open this up. What do you have for me? More crystals and also more health as well. That'll explain the entire wall climbing thing. You know, if you've played like, you know, a platformer game before, you're gonna be right at home with this game, other than the auto-aiming. But it's also a lot easier for you as well, except when things start really getting crazy around the entire screen with like 70 enemies coming at you. I am exhausted. Why is it I cannot remember anything of recent days? My thoughts feel so clouded. You are weak from the summoning, although you can reclaim your lost essence through the demise of each demon. The more of your essence you are able to retrieve, the more likely it is you'll survive the return journey to origin. Survive the journey? I can't go home unless I regain my essence? No. If you leave your human vessel before full strength, you will likely be trapped on this plane, unable to take a new vessel and unable to return home. <laughs> Sounds no good, man. Whenever you get involved with vessels and planes, you know, nothing good ever comes out of that. I know, I've done, I've been there before. <laughs> this is like my second host body at this point. I've had a few, but that's all I'm gonna say about that. Alrighty, let's get more of this over here done. So far, we're only running into those like, small little critters. We'll get some more variety here pretty soon. That over here explained the whole blinking system. I normally like to go around and just search for everything. Uh, for the most part, every stage will have an exit relatively soon. Like, on occasion, you have to do like an objective point. Like, you have to kill something or break something or unlock something. But once that is done, you can basically exit the stage. However, if you decide to stick around, you'll find more enemies. You can also find more secrets and get more points and crystals that way to level yourself up over time. So, there's really no big rush, but I guess if you're doing a speed run, there would be a little bit of a rush involved. I did take some damage right there. Not too thrilled about that. Over here might be our first weapon, if I'm correct. Now, we haven't seen any of my skills just yet. Those unlock pretty soon. I'm trying to get those unlocked here as soon as I matter. Oh, right here is going to be... On occasion, you run into enemies that have a lot of HP. Those require that certain little boom attack. Um, they're not going to explain that's how I will do that. Um, if they have a lot of HP, you, it requires like a certain amount of like that boom attack we just did. Like sometimes you have to do it like once, twice, even three times on an enemy that's really, really strong, and it kind of like lowers them down. It breaks like an entire health bar in a sense, so you can think of it that way. Uh, did I really summon these abominations? Why would I help? I believe you'd grown tired of your incarceration here, and they offered you a means of escape. Many would not blame you. But you do? I have no opinion on the matter. My goal is to allow you safe passage in this place to return to you to your rightful home. Alright. And for that to occur, I need to leave my human vessel, which cannot happen whilst I am below full strength. I must destroy more demons and reclaim my essence? Correct. Ending this demonic incursion through violence is your only option. Uh, nothing like a good old bit of violence, you know? Angelic demonic violence. Let's see here, what is this to unlock the door? All right, that'll get this over here unlocked. And, how you doing there, buddy? Ah, guy was trying to get frisky on me. You saw that attack right there? Oh, no can do. Now, soon enough, we'll get some more weapons, I hope. How long is this goddamn tutorial stage? Let's try to just make a beeline towards the exit. That would be it right here, okay. Uh, this is the way out, I can feel it, but it is sealed shut with a corrupt marker of some kind. Ah yes, this place is now home to several lieutenants of Terminus. They hold the largest portion of your essence within them, and thus must be vanquished for you to finally return home. They also hold the keys to these demonic seals. Exercise the Terminite Lieutenant, break the seal, I understand. So we cannot leave until we get this demonic seal over here taken care of. Now, if I'm correct, this should be one of the new variety of enemies for one, and hopefully we get a new weapon as well. Mm, nope. Looks like a bigger version of the other guys we've been dealing with so far. Got a bit more HP than the other ones, though. Now, these over here on occasion have um, weapons on them, like little lockers, and that's where you could actually find more weapons. But for now, this guy will require a couple of those charges that we talked about here. 
Unfortunately for us, we have no special abilities other than the little boom attack. Now, you want to make sure you actually hit these guys with that little X marker before the little countdown meter around their, the X marker itself finishes up. If you don't do it within that time, they will basically recover from the little stunned attack or dazed state that they're in, and they'll get their HP back. So, as you can see, not really too difficult. Vile, wretched creature. Their kind should never have been allowed to exist here. I shall vanquish them all in its name. The seal is broken. Return to the way you came and make good on your escape. So that should be the end of our little tutorial thing here to give us a little bit of background. Now, we'll get finally get into some more of the variety of the game here. Boom. That's unlocked. Let's get on out of here. I have been in this location before, although it was some years ago, not long after this prison was built for me. I was being transferred. I can feel the presence of another demon lieutenant. You must find it and destroy it. Alrighty, cool. Here we go. A little bit of variety. This guy is going to be a bit more tougher. As you can see, he's also going to require one of those little booming attacks. And now, as you can see, we're finally getting involved with a lot more of the crazy amount of enemies you'll be tossed into. And hopefully soon enough we'll get another weapon to kind of show off the variety in that. At the moment, I'm just being gang-fucked over here together. Pardon my French here, but exactly what was happening. Blow you up. Alright, we have a chest over here. Pop this open. More crystals. Alright, oh fine over here. Another chest. It's down here. You guys have some crazy hops on you. Never realize how far high you could actually jump. Then again, you gotta keep up with me, I guess. Here we go, assault rifle. Perfect. So we can swap between our regular pistols and we go to the assault rifle. And they all have like different like um, stats involved with them. Some guns will have a higher amount of damage, but a faster rate of fire, less accuracy, etc, etc. Knockback, stuff like that. For these guys right now, I think we can just stick to the pistols. But for the bigger dudes, we might swap over to the assault rifle here pretty soon. Alright, let me jump up here. How you guys doing? Where's your, uh, big friends at, huh? Ah! <laughs> no, no can do, my friend. No can do. It just mean, like, I'm not sure what these things remind me of. Like, they obviously got, like, some, like, arachnid type of feature to it. At the same time, they kind of remind me a little bit of, like, the enemies from... Or not the enemies, anyway, but the monsters from the Descent a little bit. I'm not sure if it's just me. Like, the entire white, pale-looking feature to it. Just the creepy crawling around. Just might be me. Just might be around the time I need to watch The Descent again. It's been a couple of years since I last watched that. Really, really good movie, by the way. Alrighty. Crystal's over here. Uh, you do have little guide markers, as you can see on the screen over here, where it's telling me where to go. But I have a little bit of a knack for adventuring all the time in games, so... Even though I should be going somewhere, it's kind of like, yeah, I'll get to there eventually. Right now, I just kind of want to look around and see what's happening. So for now, we'll come through here. Follow the road. Upwards. Ah, here we go. Big dude. You might be a lieutenant. Let's swap over to my assault rifle and just check this out here. Oh, yeah. Ah! Alright. Nope. Nope. Brought you down. That's one. And again, if you feel this is too easy for you, you can always swap the difficulty. That's uh, stupid of me not to move from that one. Um, you can always swap the difficulty to extreme and hard, and your enemies will indeed gather or gain new abilities. So if you feel this is not enough for you, then, you know, you could go ahead and do that. I was considering doing this on hard, but I wanted to show off this shit without, like, really messing up too bad. Actually, am I on hard? I made it hard. No, no, I think I did standard. I've been playing on standard before. We got a, a shard fragment over here, and we completed a common shard right now. I think that'll explain really soon what that's all about. Here is our exit because we killed that lieutenant, and we're ready for the next level over. Oh, we have our skills now. Perfect. So check this out. Let me find some of these guinea pigs to test this out on over here. Oh, you're up there? Perfect. So you can see, the X ability that we have is the one that lets you take care of enemies when they're stunned, right? Y is going to be like this little shockwave attack that kind of pushes everything off of you. So if you have like a lot of bullets coming your way or a lot of enemies crowding you, you could just boom this way, push them back. The, ability, the B ability is going to be like this interesting little setup where... Let me pop this open here first. What do we have here? Oh, more ammunition because of the same gun? Perfect. The B ability is going to have like this little like boomerang attack where you'll send like this little orb towards an enemy and it'll come back to you and strike enemies multiple times essentially. Let me swap back to my pistols. Don't need the assault rifle for that. Normally I like to refrain from using that on the shittier enemies out here. And here's somewhere we could test this out I want to say, right? A lot of enemies. There we go. 
So, as you can see. And if you stay back, while it comes back, it'll obviously hit more enemies because you're taking some time doing it. Here's the pushback attack, if you're being crowded. And, as you can see, on the way forwards and back, it will affect them. And you have a stunned enemy here, kill you. And that's about it. Ah, oh, another big dude here, huh? Push you back. And that's it for you. Alright. Chest over here. Perfect. Now, oddly enough, the exit's telling me it's upwards. I thought the exit was down. I wonder if there's like multiple exits in the game. No, now it's telling me down. <laughs> that's interesting. Like the entire time it was pointing up towards like, you know, the... I guess northern east right here. But now it's like, nah, never mind. It's actually to the sound. We're lying. Uh, let's see. That's the guide. This truly is a terrible place. Humans are capable of crafting such suffering. I do not blame you for losing your fate. I did not lose my fate. How can you suggest such a thing? No, something else must have caused this demonic incursion. Sibley, demons can only be allowed to manifest on the plane of reality with the assistance of our kind. You know this. No, you're wrong. There must be another way. A way that neither you or I are aware of. I'm not so sure that's the case or not. We'll do a little bit more of the next little level here, and then we will... Oh, that was actually the end of the stage in general. Huh. Hey, you know what? Then let's go ahead and just wrap it up here. This gives you a good idea what Seraph's all about. Obviously, it's the first stage, so there's not too much of an enemy variety, just you have more difficulty. But as I mentioned, you could actually make the game more difficult. The enemies will have more skills involved that way. Let me save and quit, though, really quickly, and show you. If you go over to play, you can do your upgrades right here. I do believe this is basically accumulated from all of your playthroughs, so you'll basically gather up a bunch of shards and crystals that you could actually come over here and get different upgrades and abilities unlocked for future playthroughs as well. So we have like holy stuff, we have defensive, we have ammunitions as well. Really interesting concept. And over here we have transmutations, which is, let's see, turn demonic body parts into powerful new miracles, weapons, and protective wards. And right now we have available demon sight. Unlock demon sight, allowing Seraph to see and collect various materials down from the corpses of Termini demons for use in crafting and upgrading weapons and protective wards. You know what? I have enough for it. Do it. Why not? Perfect. And this is going to be transmutation for the weapons themselves. So there's a lot of really stuff, cool, cool stuff over here to unlock. Unfortunately, I only have so much time to cover this game in one video. But that is Sarah for you. All the information will be in the description below. Fun game if you're into the entire platforming shooter games. Um, other than that, though, I will catch you next time.